The Internet can have the most extraordinary impact on the most mild-mannered people. David Pogue looks at our digital divide. Maybe you've noticed something very strange can happen when we go online. We become totally different people. So there is a Jekyll and Hyde thing happening. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Paul Vigiano can tell you from experience. Well, it was election night, 2020, <laughs> and I was on Facebook, and it got spicier as the face got redder and the rage build, was building. I think I may have actually said, you're an idiot. To someone you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On the great scale, that was pretty mild, but, but... But for me, it wasn't. I mean, for me, it was pretty rough. And now, you're, you actually teach communications. That's the embarrassing part. <laughs> <laughs> One of the classes I teach is interpersonal communications. Really? <laughs> My specialist area is forensic cyberpsychology, which is the study of criminal, deviant, and abnormal behavior. And I'm kept really busy. <laughs> Consultant and psychologist Mary Aiken cites four ways that online conversation differs from in-person conversation. First, you can see each other in real life. So I'm looking at your visual cues. I can read, I can read your body language. We lose all of that online. Second, online exchanges may not take place in real time. Somebody posts something, somebody else comes back later, things can get misinterpreted. Third, most online discussions are public. If I insult you now, then it increases the shame and the humiliation and the feeling of being targeted. Finally, online anonymity means no repercussions for being nasty. Add all this together and you get what psychologists call the online disinhibition effect. And effectively, it dictates that people will do things online that they wouldn't do in the real world. That online effect can affect real world relationships. Sometimes you have to speak truth to stupid. And, and that's usually what starts it. Do you fire back in kind when it gets to that level? Depending on my mood, I just poke the bear just to see where it's going to go. <laughs> Robin has you know, been there. She asked us that. not to use you know, her last name. That. Have you ever cut off ties with people that you, you knew online? I have. I have. Um, some that were friends. I've had family that has unfriended me because of uh, politics. But Mary Aiken's latest report indicates that new artificial intelligence filters may soon help. We found evidence of an emerging billion dollar sector dedicated to finding technology solutions. We could probably also recognize that never in the history of the internet has anyone's mind ever been changed by being yelled at. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> that is true. Paul Vigiano knows that another election is coming soon. He plans to play this one differently. I'm trying to separate the person from the idea. So my mantra has been hate the idea, but don't hate the person. So I'm hoping I get to that point by then. <laughs>